In this tutorial, we illustrate the Betmine's advanced filter, which can analyze thousands of matches in a few seconds. The first thing to understand is that the filter is not a generator of predictions, but it's a tool to help and speed up the study of the matches. It allows us to find all the matches that perfectly match all the criteria we set. We can find it in the app side menu, then on advanced filter, and here we are. First of all, we have to choose event type, the market we are interested in. In this case we are analyzing the over 2.5. Then we can choose the league or leagues we are interested in. If we don't have a preference, by default all the matches of the leagues, playing in the dates range chosen, will be analyzed. We now come to the recurrence rate last 10 overall matches, which will allow us to obtain the first results. Let's choose the minimum percentage realized for the previously chosen event by one or both teams in the last 10 matches played. In this section, matches from all competitions and without distinction of home and away games are considered. For example, we select 70% for the home team and 70% for the away team, go to show results, and we get all the matches in which both teams have seen at least 7 out of 10 last matches, in all competitions, ending with more than 2.5 goals. To double check the results, you can select a match, and look at the over 2.5 statistics for the last 10 matches, and see that both teams have a percentage of 70% or more. Next we find the recurrence rate all league matches. This filter considers the specific league to which the match belongs and takes into account all home games for the home team and all away games for the away team. For example, we select 60% for the home team and 60% for the away team, then show results. Choose one of the matches proposed and going in standings then in events. we can verify that the home team has a percentage equal to or greater than 60% of home matches ended with more than 2.5 goals. And the same for the away team for his away matches. Now let's take a look at the recurrence rate last 5 head 2 head matches. The last five matches between the two teams in all competitions are taken into account, regardless of whether they were played at home or away. For example, let's set it to 80%. And from the results obtained, choose a match. And go to matches then last five head to head. We see that 80% of the last 5 matches have ended with the result over 2.5, so 4 matches out of 5. Then we find the average scored goals last 5 overall matches, and the average conceded goals last 5 overall matches. The goal average is calculated without distinction of home or away games and all competitions are considered. For example, I set the average number of goals scored by the two teams to be at least two per game. For goals conceded, I want the average of both teams to be at least one. To get results from these filters we need to set a percentage in at least one of the three previous filters, we will fix this in a future release. In this case I set 10% in the first filter and here we have some matches displayed. Choose a match. And by going to matches then last 5 for the home team, I can see the average number of goals scored and the average number of goals conceded are at greater or equal than what we have set. 
And the same I can check for the away team, and we see that the average is always greater or equal than what we have set. Finally, we have the odd range which allows us to choose the value of the odds we are interested in. For example, I am interested in a minimum odd value of 2.00 for my over 2.5 market. As with the goals scored and conceded average, the odd range also requires a percentage to be given in at least one of the first three filters. So we leave the 10% set earlier and go to show results. All odds equal to or greater than 2.00 for over 2.5 will be displayed. Well, we have seen all the filters individually, but you can restrict the research by combining more filters at once. Of course the more filters you set the less results you will get. We have reached the end of this tutorial, and we have seen together how to use the advanced filter to quickly find matches that meet our criteria among thousands of them. See you next time.